Hey guys, so I was having this problem where my toilet seat hinges were breaking. So my initial reaction was to order replacement hinges so I can just swap them out and get it fixed. However, I wasn't sure if they would fit exactly and when I did find the exact hinges that my toilet seats did have, I wasn't really sure that the problem would be fixed because what's stopping them from breaking again in the future. So that all being said, I decided that I could simply redesign and print the part that was broken to swap it out. So that's what this video is about. This video is all about how I designed and printed my own replacement parts for my toilet seat hinges. So the first step is to jump in and remove the old hinges so that we can take accurate measurements. At this point I realized that I didn't need to recreate the entire hinge, just the little bit that broke. I used a pair of digital calipers to help me measure, but a ruler could have done just as well. Measuring is one of the most important parts of the whole process. The whole thing about measure twice, cut once definitely applies here, but instead of cut once, it is more like print once. So I decided to draw out pieces as I was measuring them too, so I remembered where everything went. My end result doesn't have to be identical to the existing hinge, it just has to have the exact same measurements so that it'll fit in place. Once I had everything measured, it was time to start designing the 3D model. So I opened up Autodesk Fusion 360 and started creating a shape according to my measurements. Once the model was created, I exported it as an STL file and loaded it into Ultimate Cura. This way I could slice my design and get it ready to move to the 3D printer. So I duplicated the piece so that I would have two hinges and I saved it on my SD card and moved it to my 3D printer. I printed this using white PLA. I figured it would fit in the nicest, but I did play with the idea of maybe having colorful hinges, but ultimately decided against it because uh, I felt like that would be a little too flashy. I printed it with supports between the holes because it was printing vertically. So this meant there was a little bit of cleanup required afterwards, but really didn't take that long, about 30 seconds per hinge, so not too bad. And once the hinges were printed and cleaned up, it was really just a matter of reassembling my old toilet seat. So I started with reattaching the hinges to the toilet seat itself, putting the toilet seat on the toilet, and then adding the toilet lid up top. And that was about it. And just like that, my toilet seat hinges were fixed. I love the little detail of having my name custom designed in there. It's a great little Easter egg if any of my guests come over and they check out my toilet seat hinges or something that I can point out. And it feels like a very strong solution. You know, I can slam this seat and I'm pretty confident it won't break. But if it does, I can just press print and get a replacement part right there. However, I do have to tell you guys that I lied to you. I did not get this on my first try. It actually took me about 10 different iterations before I got it right. You know, the first time I tried printing it, I figured that flipping it vertically would be a lot stronger than horizontally, just the way that the layers work in printing. And then when I did flip it, I forgot to add suspension between the two um, hinge pieces. So then I had to add that in, go back, reprint it, and then once I printed that out and got that all done, I tried to fit it in and realized it was just a little bit too wide, so I narrowed it again. And then I, once it did fit in, I realized my angle was off. Overall, it took me about seven or eight hours to complete all of this, but I actually had an absolute blast doing all of this. Every time something small went wrong, it was a really great creative challenge to figure out how to do this properly the next iteration. So all in all, this project took a lot more time than I would have had I just ordered a replacement piece. I did save a little bit of money, but nothing compared to the amount of time I put into it. But I did have a great time doing this. I am really proud of my toilet seat hinges now. And I don't know anyone else who is proud of their toilet seat hinges. I have no regrets about this whole process. No matter how many times I've failed, no matter how many design challenges I've faced, I had a really fun time and I wanted to share the journey with you guys. And hopefully we can tackle some greater design challenges in the future together. Thanks for watching, guys.